my brothers and sisters, good morning. This is the morning prayer for the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord has created us to know and love Him. With joy, let us praise Him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Brothers and sisters, God the Father has created us for sanctification. One of the major themes of Vatican II was the universal call to holiness. We are called to follow Christ and in imitating him to recover the image and likeness of God. It is an awesome concept. As we grow in virtue and love, we grow in similarity to God in his tributes. And let us pray. And now bless the God of all who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters men's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel as long as the heavens are above. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. A reading from the Gospel of John. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me and I will not reject anyone who comes to me because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. And on this Sunday morning, brothers and sisters, let us pray and recite the Canticle of Zechariah, and let us pray. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for ye will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us thank God for creating us and the honor he has given us as his children. We pray for our sanctification and say, and for our intercessions, the response is, Lord, make us holy. Lord, make us holy. You sent Jesus, your Son, as an exemplar and Savior. Give us the grace to grow in Christ's likeness. Lord, make us holy. You have given us the example of the saints throughout the ages. Support us as we strive to imitate them. Lord, make us holy. You give us the Eucharist. That way, we may enter into the mystery of your love. Let us use the graces of all the sacraments to grow in likeness to you. Lord, make us holy. And now let us offer to God our own personal intentions culled from the silence of our hearts. Lord, make us holy. And now let us pray the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, as Jesus himself has taught us, and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God of creation, we praise you. So wonderfully you made us, and wonderful are your works. Lead us into the ways of holiness, that we may fulfill your plan of sanctification, and live forever with you in joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us end our morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Have a good day, brothers and sisters.